Hello everyone, my name is Thibaut Hasselborn and I'm a postdoc at EPFL. And during the last four years, we developed an app that is called Dynamilis that is meant to be used by children learning how to write. This app can be decomposed in two parts. First, on writing analysis and second, on writing remediation with serious games. So the first thing to know is that on writing difficulties is not something rare. There are 25% of children that have some kind of on writing difficulties from light to severe. And when they are severe, I think you all know the medical term, it's called dysgraphia. And now, since handwriting is such a central aspect in every school activity, every research shows a great correlation between handwriting difficulties and failure at school. So that's the reason why it's super important to detect this handwriting difficulty the earliest possible in order to provide the earliest and therefore the most effective remediation. So for the moment, there are different tests that exist in different languages and alphabet, and all these tests work the same way. The child goes to a therapy center and is asked to write a predefined text on a blank sheet of papers for five minutes. At the end of these five minutes, the therapist comes and evaluates this text on different criteria. For example, the space between the world, if the writing is tilted, the shakiness, etc., etc. And according to this score, the age and the gender of the child, the child will be diagnosed as with or without handwriting difficulties. This test has several limitations. First, it's totally subjective, so two experts that score the same text only agree in 60% of the times, and in the same way, one expert that scores twice the same text might get different results as well. Second, it's time consuming, so five minutes for the child to pass the text and then 15 minutes to evaluate it, so 20 minutes to get the results in total. On last point, on the transition of the technology that we developed, since the test is done on paper, you only have access to the final static information, like a photography of handwriting, and you are therefore losing a lot of information, the dynamic of handwriting, the video, and this dynamic of handwriting, for example, the speed, pressure, acceleration, tilt, contain information that we've shown in our research are way more important than the static aspect. And for the moment, this dynamic of writing, since the test is done on paper, is put in the garbage. So that's why we developed the first version of the analysis on a digital tablet. On the digital tablet, for example, an iPad plus the Apple Pencil can extract the XY coordinate of the pen, the pressure between the pen and the tablet, as well as the angle, and that's 240 times per second. So we have a lot of information that we are going to use with machine learning that allow us to have a test that is totally objective, that is way faster, we get the result in 30 seconds instead of 20 minutes. Since it's super fast, we get the result in 30 seconds, we can repeat the test frequently and therefore follow the child's evolution on a weekly basis, something that is hard to be done now. We have access to previously hidden information, all this dynamic of handwriting that is super hard to be measured on paper, and therefore we can extract the child's handwriting profile. So we can know the specific strengths and weaknesses of each child. For example, we have global score, 0 and 100, but also score on the static aspect, the speed, the pressure, the tilt, the dexterity, the shakiness, etc. etc. And what is interesting is, is that if we ask two children to write the same text, for example, here we have Patrick and Julie that, wrote, that uh, write twice the, the same text, the two children get the same global score, for example, they are both dysgraphic, but their handwriting profile might be totally different. For example, Patrick has handwriting difficulty because he has problem with the pressure on the tilt, while Julie doesn't have any problem with the pressure, but she more has problem with the tilt on the static, while she has the same global score as Patrick. So it shows two things. First, there is not only one type of handwriting difficulties. It's very, very diverse. And second, it might not be the best idea to propose the same remediation to these two children that have a totally different handwriting profile. So that leads us to the second part of what we are doing at Dynamilis. We co-developed during two years with 50 therapists different remediation activities, serious games. On each of these games, target one specific aspect of handwriting. For example, one game to work specifically on the control of the pressure, another one to work specifically on the precision, the tilt, the shakiness, the dexterity of the finger, etc. etc. 
and these activities are recommended in function of the analysis. So for example, uh, we can give you a different example of one game. For example, this is a game to work on the precision. So we created with therapies some prescriptural path that you can see here, it's different levels with prescriptural path that are becoming harder and harder. The prescriptural path is a path that you can find in letters. So if you master this prescriptural path, normally you master every shape that you will find in letters. So a lot of path that you can see here, you can choose one becoming harder and harder. And uh, in this game, you are controlling the odd balloon with your Apple Pencil. And the, the closer you are from this blue point, the more points you will get. So it teaches the kid to work on the precision. And if you are getting out of the path, the white path, you are going to lose balloon and lose point. And of course, all these games are adaptable. For example, you can decrease or increase the, this uh, white path to make the game harder or easier. Another game that we developed with the therapist is one game to work on the control of the pressure. This is uh, particularly interesting because the pressure is one very central aspect in writing, we showed that in the research, but it's almost impossible to train on paper. So for example, in this game, as soon as you are going to put your finger on the screen of the tablet, the submarine will go on the right by itself, and the depth of the submarine is controlled by the pressure applied on the pen. So the more I press, the deeper the submarine will go, the less I press, the upper it will go. And the goal is to constantly adapt the pressure in order to avoid all the obstacles around. And we, we are adding some uh, bonus in the game at specific uh, strategic location, it's turtle eggs. And as soon as you are going to grab this egg, you are going to free a baby turtle at the back. So it's very ludic. And it's super important to make this game ludic because children with fun writing difficulty, they, will, they, they hate to write while they like to, to play and they are going to, to learn on writing while having fun. This is particularly important. Another game, uh, targeting the control of the tilt and the small movements that are uh, needed in on writing. So here you are going to control a copter with the tilt of the pen, like a joystick. And uh, the goal is to get this box, and in this box you have a number of points, this box attached to a rope, and to put the box at a specific location, that is uh, at the end of the arrow. And the thing is that like, if you have like uncontrolled movement of the tilt, the box is going to balance, and therefore the box is going to eat, eat obstacles, and when the box eats obstacles, it's going to lose points. So here the goal is the child needs to control very smoothly his pressure, small movement, to put the box at the position it needs to be very precisely without adding obstacles. A last example maybe, in this one uh, it's a game that trains when to lift the pen, so it's a therapist that gives us this idea. So a robot writes a word, for example it's the word POM, and every time that there is a pen lift, the color of the ink automatically changes. And my goal is to write the same word below and have the same color as in the example. And if I have the same color, it means that I left the pen at the right location. For example, here I did two mistakes. I, uh, I leave the pen at one location and the color doesn't match with the example above. And therefore, I have a low number of points. So for the moment, we have 10 games that we could develop with therapies, but the goal is to create more and more. And these games are, of course, recommended in function of the handwriting difficulties of the child. On the last slide, we try to create this link between the handwriting analysis and the handwriting remediation. So the child writes, then he has some games that are recommended. For example, I don't know if you see, but with the little star is the game that are recommended for the specific handwriting profile of the child. And there is this ping pong between the remediation and the analysis. Since the analysis lasts only 30 seconds, you can repeat it every two weeks, for example, and then the games are learned from uh, your progress in analysis. And this app, Dynamilis, is meant to be used by children with handwriting difficulty, but not only, because the, the handwriting analysis can extract the handwriting profile of the child, whether he has or she has handwriting difficulties or not, and the games will be recommended to work on the specific need of the child if or if they don't have handwriting difficulties. So thanks a lot for your attention. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me with the email address that you can see in the bottom of the screen. Thanks a lot.